children today we are going to study a poem chivi it is included in your fourth chapter of honeycomb michael wayne rosen was born into a jewish family in harrow middlesex with roots in what in now poland russia and romania and connection to the arbitrary ring and the bunt rosen middle name is in honor of the vein c booth who was the billeted with his father at the us army university and shrivenham oxfordshire shires and become a literary critic after his studies at Wadham College Oxford and graduation in 1969 Rosen became a graduate trainee at the BBC among the work that he did while there in 1970s was presenting a series of BBC school television called Walrus White and Learn Read Understand and Speak He was also a scriptwriter on the children reading series Sam on Boffs Iceland but Rosen found working for the corporation frustrating their view of the educational was narrow the machine had decided this was the direction to take your own creativity was down the spout Rosen played a key role in opening up the children as his to poetry both through his own writing with important anthologies such as Culture's Shock he was one of the first poet to make visit to the school throughout the UK and further a field in Australia Canada and Singapore his tours continue to enthuse and engage school children about poetry in the present Rosen was appointed the 6th British Children Laureate in June 2007 succeeding Jacqueline Wilson and held the honor until June 2009 when he was succeeded by Anthony Browning Rosen signed off of the lordship with an article in the guardian in which he said sometimes when i sit with children when they have to space to talk and write about things i have the feeling that i am privileged to be kind of a person who is asked to be part of it in 19 2007 he was awarded an ordinary doctorate by the University of Exeter in January 2008 Rosen was presented with an honorary doctorate by the Tavistock and Portman NHS Trust and the University of the East London in November 2008 he was presented with an honorary master degree at the University of Worcester and the and the knight of the order of arts and the literature at the french ambassador residence in london in april 2010 rosen was given the fred and any jarvis award from the national union of teachers for campaigning campaigning for education in july 2010 he was awarded an ordinary doctorate by the nottingham trent university In April 2011, Rosen was awarded an honorary doctorate at the Institute of the Education, University of London, and in July 2011, honorary doctorate by the University of the West of England. Rosen was selected to be the guest director of the Brighton Festival in May 2013. The poem Chivi has been composed by the poet Michael Rosen. 
the present poem deals with the feeling of the poet like other small kids who feel irritated by their elders who always instruct them to do or not to do the grown ups always say things like speak up don't stare don't point don't pick your nose sit up say please less noise etc the poet leaves a question to elders why can't they keep their suggestion to themselves the key points of the poem are grown ups have a habit of always instructing the child they ask him to do something or not to do something else then to do so mostly to teach children good manners yet the truth is that most children don't like it so this is the poem about chivi this poem having new words also the first new word is stare stared means to see continuously without blinking your eyes that is called scared drag straight interrupt these are the new words of this poem the poem chivi is a catalog of various do's and don'ts that the grown ups directed to the young children the adults constantly give a list of instruction to the children about how to sit how to talk how to eat and how to so on the poem however indicates a passage of time when the young child has grown up and is incapable of taking decision on his own the same adults then child the grown up and the child for not being able to think independently so now let's recite the poem grown up say things like speak up don't talk with your mouth full don't stare don't point don't pick your nose sit up say please less noise shut the door behind you don't drag your feet haven't you got a hanky take your hands out of your pockets pull your socks up stand up straight say thank you don't interrupt no one thinks you are funny take your elbow off the table can't you take make your own mind up about anything when michael was 5 years old his mother took him a nearby school for admission the teacher asks what does your mother call you at home child michael don't came the confident reply so here the note is also giving in the poem the to chivi is to knack to continuously urge someone to do something often in an annoying way according to the dictionary so this is we have already read the poem and now i am going to explain the poem stanza wise grown ups say things like speak up don't talk with your mouth full don't stare don't point don't pick your nose in this stanza the poet points out to a series of instruction given by the grown ups the poem opens with a long list of instruction in all livelihood these instruction are being issued by the adults to their young ones speak up don't talk while your mouth is mouth is full of food and so on are just a few examples
sit sit up say please less noise shut up the door behind you don't drag your feet haven't you do got a hanky take your hands out of your pocket the above lines is written by michael roshan poem poet the poet continues to put a emphasize on how the young children are directed to act in the accordance to the instruction issued by the adults in this stanza of the poem continues with it another set of instruction each and every activity of the young child is administrator and put under the surveillance of the grown ups let's move to the third stanza pull your socks up stand up straight say thank you don't interrupt no one thinks you are funny take your elbow off the table can't you make your own mind up about anything so the poet showcases how the child is still being reprimanded by the adult though the child has grown up the final couplet of the poem shows that perhaps the young child has grown up however adult around him continue to reprimand him but this time for the different reason the child is unable to decide anything for himself he is not certain about anything it is quite ironic it is quite ironical as the entire childhood of this child was spent blindly following the instruction straight up stand up straight say thank you these are the instruction as always given to the little child or grown up child from the elders the poem chivi centers its idea in the nature of instruction relations between children and the parent it present the puzzle of parents instructing children on what to do and how to do it while they are young without giving a chance for decision making to these children the same parents are seen to complain about the dependence of their now grown up children the grown up children now fully depend on the parents for the decision from their childhood training of full dependence without the ability to make their own decision because each and every time the adults or parents giving instruction the connection of the chivi is to nag this poem construct with the emotional state of poet and other kids who feel annoyed by their elders grown ups typically instruct their child but in contrary they feel that child should make up their own mind adults generally speak things like don't stare don't point don't drag your feet etc so these are the instruction given by the elders to the young ones parents and teachers always nag their children and students with do's and don'ts most of these imperatives are meaningless they are preconceived and contradictory the poem chivi is an eye opener to such a behavior the poem chivi has been composed by the michael rosen this is the very unique example of the parenting the present poem deals with the feelings of the poet like other small kids who feel irritated by the elders who always instruct them to do or not to do the grown ups always say things like speak up don't stare these are the things that really irritating for a child that what he wanted to do and he doesn't do because of the parents because they don't allow him or her to do the poet leaves a question to elders why can't 
they keep their suggestion to themselves why Now let's move to the working with the poem. Discuss these questions in a small group before you answer them. First question is when is a grown up likely to say this? Don't talk with your mouth full. Second, when are you likely to be told this? Say thank you. And third, when do you think an adult would say this? No one thinks you are funny so we can see the first question is when is a grown up likely to say this don't talk with your mouth full so the grown ups are likely to tell the children not to talk while their mouth is full of food and the second when are you likely to be told this say thank you the children are likely to be reminded to say thank you when they receive a gift or a favor from someone so they likely to say thank you now third when do you think an adult would say this no one thinks you are funny the adults are likely to tell children no one likes thinks you are funny when the children are too shy to speak or perform before the others very short type of questions based on this poem why do the grown ups tell the children not to walk talk with their mouth full the answer is the grown ups tell the children not to talk with their mouth full of food because it is a bad manners to talk while eating now question number 2 what all instruction are given by the adults regarding noise the answer is the adult tell the, tell the children not to make much noise neither while talking nor while eating or walking now next question is what happens when the adults give too many instruction to their children the answer is when the adults give too many instruction to their children they kill their children's spontaneity and willingness to use his or her mind to understand life these instruction rob away their innocence making them dependent on their elders now let's uh, solve some extract based question so read the extracts given below and answer the following question so here we can see if we see the second stanza of uh, of this poem sit up say please less noise shut the door behind you don't drag your feet haven't you got a hanky take your hands out of your pocket put pull your socks up stand straight so this is stanza and the question is based on this stanza r why is the child asked to stand straight the answer we can write like this the child is asked to stand straight because that shows that he is attentive now the second question what does walking by dragging feet suggest the answer is dragging feet while walking suggest bad manners make a sentence of your own using the word drag so my brother forcibly dragged me to the feet now question number 4 who is giving these instruction the poet an adult a, a child the teacher now the answer is an adult now question number 5 to whom are these instruction being addressed the options are the poet an adult a child the teacher so answer is a child Question number 6 is why would the child need a hanky to clean his mouth to clean his shoes to clean his bag to clean his slate 
So now answer is to clean his mouth. The second question, the last two lines of the poem are not prohibition or instruction. What is the adult now asking the child to do? Do you think the poet is suggesting that this is unreasonable? Why? Now last line we have to see. Can't you make your own mind up anything? These are the last line. In the last two lines, the adults are asking the child to think himself and to be independent in taking decision, which is unreasonable because they themselves don't allow the child to take any decisions. They always tell him what to do or what to not do. So they're asking the child to make up his own mind is surely unreasonable so can't you make your own mind up about anything every time the parents are uh, telling something to do this or do don't do this but when the time come the parent ask, ask or elder ask can't you make your own mind up about anything and they always scolding or they always asking to the children Third question, why do you think grown-ups say the kinds of things mentioned in the poem? It is important that they teach children good manners and how to behave in public. So, if you see all lines of the poem, you can see everywhere you can find only instruction. So the grown-ups say such kind of things to their children in order to teach them good manners, etiquettes and how to behave in public. It is important to teach the children all these things so that they learn good manners and how to behave in the society. It is very good for them. But sometimes it, the child gets irritated. At home with their elders and youngsters, our elders are our guide and friends. But too much is always gives a blast in the mind of the child. We have to give instruction but sometimes we get them free also. So this question we can write like this. It is good too. It is good for the child because these instructions for their betterment, how to behave in the society, how to behave in the home, how to behave in the school. So it is good for them. So our elder are our guide and friends. Now question number four. If you had to make some rules for grown-ups to follow, what would you say? Make a list, five such rules, arrange the lines as in a poem. So, if you, if we have to make some rules for grown-ups to follow, we would say, don't stop us from playing. Don't ask us to study. Allow us to watch TV. Take us, take us for outing. Above all, don't chivy. So, these are the things we have to write. Because we don't like instruction. Sometimes, not always. Because teachers are also giving instruction, parents are also giving instruction. For these instructions, make a mess in the mind of a little child. So, always give instruction which is useful for them and for betterment of a child. If we ask, what is the theme of the Chivi poem? So we can say the poem is about the instruction that elders keep on giving to children. Children are not capable of making up their mind and so elders have to keep on reminding them all the time. In this line, pull up 
your socks stand up straight why the child asked to stand straight because that shows that he is attentive so always the teacher and the parent and elders are always telling a child to stand up straight because it shows its attentiveness so why do kids slouch the majority of the slouching children don't have any kind of deformity their posture is probably caused by a misfact of habit rapid growth social the the majority of slouching the majority of slouching children don't have any kind of deformity their posture is probably caused by a mis- mixed bag of habit rapid growth uh, social pressures poorly balanced muscle stones and perhaps a dash of childish rebellion in this line you can see haven't you got a hanky so here the question arises why would the child need a hanky to kill to clean his mouth to clean his shoes to clean his bag <laughs> the poem chivi has been composed by the poet michael rosen the present poem deals with the feelings of the poet like other small kids who feel irritated by their elders who always instruct them to do or not to do the grown ups always say things like speak up don't stare don't point don't pick your nose sit up say please less noise etc the poet leaves a question to elders why can't they keep their suggestions to themselves the poem chivi centers its idea in the nature or instruction relations between children and the parents it present the puzzle of the parent instruction children on what to do how to do it while they are young without giving a chance for decision making to this children the same parent are seen to complain about the dependence of their now grown up children because they have not giving the space to discuss or to uh, suggest but all the time the elders are used to give instruction to the little one the grown up children are fully dependent on the parents because because they never understood how to take decision because every time their parents their teachers their elders putting their thoughts putting their uh, suggestions on their head of the small child so the grown up children now fully depend on the parents or the season from their childhood training of or full dependence without the ability to make their own decision so this poem chivi is giving a alarm a suggestion to the parents or elders or teachers don't give unnecessarily instruction to the children because they get confused to do the right thing so whenever is required you just give the suggestions or instruction not all the time because the children have to take their decision have to make their uh, mind to go through the way what they want so just guide this just become a facilitator don't become a instructor so this is the main motto of the poet that we have to understood that we have to understand because if we are not understand the motto of this poem so we can't do the right thing or justice with the young ones
Sneak up. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, God. 